It's been almost two years since I've done a manga chapter review, and honestly that feels wild to say because in my head it feels like it's been much longer than that. The 256th chapter seems like an odd spot to start doing chapter reviews admittedly, but hey, better late than ever is a common phrase for a reason I suppose. So right off the bat, I have to say that I love the barrage of black flashes we're seeing from Sukuna. I know a good chunk of the fanbase is vocally exhausted at how long they've been fighting him, but week after week I feel like I'm eating good. Like, upscale steakhouse levels of eating good. It's really cool to see because I feel like we haven't really seen much of Black Flash since Shibuya ended, but in the last handful of chapters we've seen multiple fired off in quick succession. Maki eating her second Black Flash from Sukuna admittedly makes me super nervous, I can't lie. Tanking the first one was totally plausible, I never doubted her for a minute considering how much Gege has done to gas her up, but this time just feels different. In regards to the fight itself, I do love how coordinated everyone has been up to this point. Even though Sukuna feels unbeatable at times, our heroes are very obviously growing stronger as time goes on, giving me that sliver of hope in them defeating this forearm degenerate. I will say that I'm a tad disappointed that Miguel didn't do anything this chapter besides try and retreat but I'm hoping that Gege rectifies that in the following few chapters. On the other side of that coin though, LaRue completely took me by surprise by not only still being alive, but being able to function after taking a direct black flash from Sukuna. And on top of that, his curse technique creates an opening for Yuji to do what he does best, and that's give us a good beatdown. I also have to give major props to Chozo here for also holding his own considering he had just gotten rocked by Sukuna just a handful of chapters ago. Only thing I need to happen now is for Ino to get his get back too, and finally unleash that trump card Shikigami that they've been blue balling us on for years now. The ending to this chapter is some of the best JJK that we've gotten in a while, and that's not a knock towards anything that's happened in the last few chapters, but this moment is so damn good and has been built up for so long that it's cathartic to see it finally happen. With the disgraced one forcefully distracted by the meddling of LaRue, Yuji is able to land a black flash of his own, absolutely filling the page with that striking black lightning and letting the readers know that he's nowhere near finished. The final page of the chapter has a sick panel of Yuji, gearing up to launch another attack, and the narrator tells us that he has unlocked his potential through Black Flash and has awakened. This is such a huge moment because all throughout the series we've had countless hints about what he truly is and we're getting something that feels like we're finally going to learn the truth. Or Gege could decide to just make the entirety of the next chapter, Arame vs. Akari, and troll the ever-living hell out of us. Definitely something he'd do. Personal highlight of the chapter would obviously be the Yuji Black Flash. I mean, how could anything else compare? Besides that though, I did love seeing Sukuna go feral and punch the hell out of Maki, because only a character with that dog in him like her can make this bastard smile as hard as he was. As for my closing thoughts, I definitely like this chapter a lot. Obviously very action-centric, but it's clearly leading up to something huge. Sucks that there's a break next week, but we need to make sure these mangaka are taking good care of themselves after all, so I ultimately don't mind. If I were to make any predictions for the next chapter, it would be that it doesn't cut to Arame and Hikari's fight, and keeps going with the Sukuna stuff. I think this is when we finally get some clarity on Yuji's true abilities. I would personally love to see him actually unlock his curse technique after so long, so he can really get to cooking. Makes me wonder if we'll ever get to see an Itadori domain expansion. Really hoping we do by the end. But that's my review of JJK chapter 256. Let me know down below in the comments of what your thoughts on the chapter were, and what you think will happen next. I'm going to try and keep up with reviewing the chapters week by week as they release, so be on the lookout for more in the coming weeks and months. Until next time though, this has been iMashButtons. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.